Hey guys, so I just wanted to say before I do this tutorial that um, during this tutorial I actually need to set up some special damage events and such to make use of the survival game templates damage system. That will be replaced in a update, probably the next one or the one after at the latest, um, when I revisit the weapon system and make a more universal damage system. So for the time being, this tutorial stands as the way to integrate the boom toolkit into the template, but just so you know, that will be changing and becoming a bit more normal and uh, make a bit more sense. It should also be worth noting that at the end of this tutorial, I use the ballistics effects pack to indicate where the bullets are hitting on the barrel. This can be done in a number of different ways. This was just simply the quickest way to do it as I had the project already set up. You can do this without the ballistics effects pack if desired. Hey guys, so I'm doing an integration tutorial integrating my own Boom Explosions Toolkit into the Multiplayer Survival Game template. Now this will be focusing on integrating it for the purpose of environmental explosions, not for projectiles and grenades. Um, that is simply due to the fact that the Multiplayer Survival Game template weapon system doesn't use projectiles. Um, there will be an update to that sometime in the near future which will incorporate a projectile weapon system, uh, but we'll revisit that when that comes. So what we want to do first off is actually migrate the content over. So I've got my fresh install of 4.15 um, for the Multiplayer Survival Game Template version 1.0.0.7 and I've got a fresh install of the Boom Toolkit example project. Now at the moment this is create project for the Boom Toolkit. I will be submitting an update to Epic sometime in the next few days to change this to add to project which will cut out this step but for the meantime it's here. So we're going to right click, click on migrate, and migrate all that content over to our project. So that one I know is in tutorials, MSGT boom, and we just want to click on the content. And let that do its thing. And once that's done, you can close that up, and we should have everything in here we need. Um, yeah, looks like everything's come over fine. We'll see if we'd run into issues, but looking good. Okay, so we're also going to open up the survival map so we have a place to place some explosions. And so we're going to just work with the toxic barrel and the red barrel, um, but obviously this same thing can be applied to anything and you can do gas canisters and tanker trucks and all that sort of thing by just changing out the meshes and the settings on the boom toolkit. So we're going to find our red barrel, which is this one here. Drop this guy in. It'll need to do the texture rendering. While that's going, we'll also drop in a toxic barrel. And we haven't got a whole heap of room in the default map, but I want to... Oh, you know what, we'll just leave them together. We'll test them out separately. So while that's doing its thing, we need to do a couple of things to the survival character. Um, now, the weapon system in the survival game template really was intended just to be a demonstration of how you could in incorporate a weapon system. However, a number of people are using it in their projects, so I'm going to um, address how to set that up to work. So you want to go into Content, SGT, Blueprints, Components, and open up C underscore Manager Inventory. And you can see those materials are rendering there. And we want to open up the fire weapon function. And we'll run it, we'll see our first issue we have here is that it doesn't actually use the default apply damage, it's actually using a custom interface node. And there was a couple of reasons for that in making it, but basically, like I said, it comes down to the fact that this wasn't really intended to be the weapon system people would use. Um, but hey, it is what it is, we'll use it. So what we're going to do is just move this guy over and we want to add in a little interface check. So just double click down here, give another one them, and we want to drag off of here and go does implement interface. And we want to set the interface to be character, BP int character. And then you take a branch and just connect that up. So if it does, we want to use this guy here. If it doesn't, however, what we want to do is drag off here and go apply damage. And 
and we just use the exact same set of nodes we've got here and use that to apply damage. Um, we do also want to get a reference to self and just plug that into the... No, sorry, we want to get a reference to player controller. This one here, plug that into... can't remember which one. There, controller reference. And we compile and save that guy. And that'll have it so we can actually shoot them. So if we now fire this up, I just need to give put some ammo, change our apple ammo over. So add to 25, and we should now be able to shoot them. Whoops, play and viewport. Oh, we'll just use that. And it looks like our barrel was in through the world, so it's gone for a bit of a roll, but we'll work with a toxic one. Helps when I equip the weapon. Yep, so you can see that's working there. We've got our thing working. Um, however, we don't have the damage in place. So I'm going to also investigate what's up with this barrel. Oops. Didn't work well. Okay, yeah, so the barrel was just inside the world, that's all. Um, so if we click end, that should work now. So, that's got the base level interaction. We can cause explosions and all that. Um, we'll make sure the red barrel works as well, just to be clear. There's no reason it shouldn't, but hey. Gotta make sure of these things. Yep, there we go. So it's smoking. And it should catch on fire. And then it should explode and I'll probably trigger the get toxic barrel as well, I'd say. Yep, there we go. And it's launched our player, that's why it's done that little jump there. So what we want to do then is also add in a little Thing to the player character to take damage from those. So we go into content SGT blueprints and go to game, just go to survival character, and just here what we want to do is just go event any damage. And then all we need to do is hook that up to this guy here. So we go event damage event. And we want to use the damage class to get the class of the damage type, sorry. And the amount just goes through there. And that should actually work fine now, I believe. So we wait for that to explode. Yep, and now if we run over into the smoke, we should start to take damage. Yep, you can see the damage is dropping, as it should in the smoke. And if we run back out of there, it's all good again. So that's how you get the damage working. Um, the launching of the player... And then let's go over here, whip our weapon again. Hopefully we don't die on this going off. There we go, so that's launched us pretty well now. Now we're going to end up dying from falling damage. So that's how you set that one up. Um, now the only other thing is, obviously, there's no indicator that we've hit that. Um, I did do a tutorial yesterday on setting up easy ballistics effect, uh, not easy ballistics, ballistics effects to work with the multiplayer survival game template. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to swap over to that project where I've actually got that all set up, um, if I still have it. If not, I'll quickly integrate it into this one. And we'll just set that up to work with this one here, just to show that we are actually hitting it and that's what's causing the damage. 
Okay guys, so I'm in the project that I made in the multiplayer survival game template and ballistics effects integration tutorial. As you can see we've got the four platforms we made here. I've added in a red barrel from the boom toolkit, just set the explosion force to 500, 5000 was a bit too high. Um, I've done the same setup in here with the damage and with the fire weapon event. So it looks a little bit neater in this one, but it's the same thing. So we go through, check the interface, and then if it is does have the character interface, we run the character event. Otherwise, we run the apply damage event. And that's it. So the other thing what I've done here is I've just clicked on this one here. We've gone to base mesh, and I've, I've just fire, opened up the material and given this a physics material. So we set this to metal, we can set it to whatever we want, but we're going to go with metal. Um, I think there are actually different types of metal in here. If you look through... Um, no, maybe not. I thought there was, but... We don't need anything else. We've got metal, that's fine. Um, you can settle up on all of them if you want, but we're just going to use the base one there. So if we play that now... And we do this, we equip the weapon, so you can see it does its thing on the um, surfaces, and if we shoot the barrel, I'll actually turn the audio up for this one. Um, so it might, it's going to be a bit loud when I shoot, but it, you'll hear that there's a definite metal noise when you hit the barrel, and you can see the, the visual effects coming off of it. So you get some nice sparks coming off to, from where the weapon, where the bullet hit the barrel. And we set those up to have a lifetime of about 15 seconds or something like that. So they will go away eventually. If we shoot this enough times, we start to get damage. Damage over time thing. receive some damage. We're in a gas cloud or steam cloud. It's a post-processing effect and yeah. So that's how you set up the boom toolkit in the multiplayer survival game template with the added bonus of integrating the ballistics effects pack into it. Um, if you have any more questions or suggestions for tutorials please leave them in the comments below. Cheers.